We just got back from the greatest dinner of my entire life. Like my whole existence <laughs> is amazing with the conversation that we just had. So Boston came over. No. <laughs> dinner started out with Boston saying, what, what was the question? I said, um, do I feel like someone like house and like say, um, like, can I marry your daughter? And he said, dad, did you ask mom's dad if you could marry? Joe, get over here. I'm listening. No, you get over here. You were going to tell them what you said. So Boston wanted to know, do you have to ask the person that you're marrying their parents if you can marry them? Do you ask them that? lady, would I have to talk to their dad? Yes. First, I want dad to tell, you tell us what you said to my dad. I was like, well, I think you know why I'm here. <laughs> Or something, I don't know. I was just like, I'd like to marry Bonnie, you know? I feel like I've done the things I'm supposed to, and to this point, it's led me to be ready to marry her. And he said a lot of things, but he said, um, he said the number one thing that I remember is he said, Bonnie's always been my daughter who laughs, and I need her to always be able to laugh. And so he said that was like his, his expectation for me was that Bonnie is happy, and if she's happy, she'll be laughing. Is that not the sweetest? And so, to answer your question, at dinner we said, yes, you have to ask the person that you want to marry, and the parents, and mm -hmm. you said, but how do I ask them? And I said, well, you should tell them what you, you should tell their dad what you like about them and why you want to marry them, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, I said, <laughs> and I said, Boston, how do you think you want to ask no, I asked that question. What do you no, I said, how are you going to ask their parents? No, how are you going to ask their parents to marry you? And you said, well, it depends. Is it for bloopers? What would you? <laughs> how? What would you do if it was for bloopers? How would you ask? I don't want to say. Did you get that? Oh yes. Husband and wife's kiss. That's what they do. So it's okay. If Can you, you say, say that? Because that? I don't sure. want to say it. Boston said for bloopers. I want you to say it because it's so funny. No, you have to say. It. He would go in the house, <laughs> open the door, and then smack their dad, <laughs> and then you say it. He would go in, slap the dad, and then go kiss the girl and say, "Will you marry me?" Okay. Part two. But if it wasn't for bloopers, he would tell him what you liked about the girl and if you could marry her, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, I want to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was amazing. That was like the best day of my life. Then what kind of conversation did we have in the car? Mom and Dad asked us, who would you rather go with if Mom and Dad broke up? Who would you okay, rather go with? Okay, so before we got to this part, Boston was like, well, what happens if you get married, and after you get married, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. she decides that she doesn't like you anymore? And I said, that would be really, really sad. And then he was kind of thinking, like, what's going to happen if you and, and Dad... No, that's okay. not what I... Okay. No, that was after I said, what... what should I wear like when I go to the, like friends? Oh. <laughs> when we wear a tuxedo to the wedding. A tuxedo. And then mom said for his birthday, do you think we should get him a tuxedo? We said rent him his tuxedo. Why do you want to wear a tuxedo? <laughs> I don't know, because I like the color black and I like the white, like only care. And I like like the black and it's cool. Yeah. He thinks it looks pretty sharp. So we talked about tuxedos, and then we talked about if me and dad were to separate. What? If me and dad were to get divorced, I would be with mom. I asked the kids. I said, guess what I said? Who okay, do I want? Who do with, mama? And who would you be with? Mommy. And who would you be with? No, you're not getting divorced. I like both of you. Yeah. Didn't that make you feel good? <laughs> And Olivia, who would you live with, me or dad? Well, if we got let me set something straight before I answer. Okay. I would go with dad. But if dad was dating a new girl and was going to marry her, I would be the judge of it. You would have to ask me if I like her. Mama. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> so you would go with 
Dad? Hey, teacher. Teacher. Is, is, this, is this how you felt when the kids said they'd go with me? She said this in the parking lot. I, I said this here. I didn't hear that. Oh, you thought you had all four just <laughs> under your spell? <laughs> well, Boston is not choosing anyone. Do not lick my hands, I will squeeze harder. <laughs> Do not lick my hands, I will squeeze harder. <laughs> it just makes me sad to think about, so we're not going to think about no, that. No, no. Okay, so I said, Joel, now this is very important, and this needs to go on record here. Joel, if I die, if I die, you have to date. And you have to get remarried so that you're not lonely. So lonely. And like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I know you're too shy. Like, I feel like you're going to be too shy to date. Why are we planning this or talking about this? In case, just in case. And no, he breaks up with you like Mom. right now. So I'm going to need all of you I to, look, to look after Joel if I die. That's and a terrible find, feeling. Let's and find him. Well, and okay, so then it got, we were, Joel was like, Well, it. Olivia was like, who would you marry? And I said, well, they'd have to look, <gasps> think, talk, and laugh like your mom. <laughs> and I said that, and then I said, kids, that's why Joel and I will never get divorced because we love each other too much. If they got divorced, I would be with mommy for a month, daddy for a month, mommy for a month, and just do that for them. How do we divorce us from the kids? I would, I would be yeah. tired of you. I would be late. What? <laughs> well, I thought that was really funny that you oh, thought God, that Dad. you could have a bloopers type <laughs> introduction. <laughs> and so we were walking out of the restaurant and I just started laughing and I pulled Joel aside as the kids were walking out. I said, Boston is going to slap his father-in-law. <laughs> And he looked with his daughter like I where did he where did you come up with that? Once you get married, like you get engaged, and then your wedding day, and then right as you're up there, you think that you don't want to get married, but you've already said I do. What do you what happens about that? You call it a nomen. <laughs> Tell them what you want to do ten days after you get married. So after I get married, I want to take me and my wife and mom and dad on a trip to Hawaii. He wants to take him and his wife and me and Joel to Hawaii. I got it. Pause. Ladies, let go of her. Let go of her. Let go of her. Well, her ears were floating up. Okay, that's hilarious. What was your Since trip you I wanted to do? And I know that you guys love RVing. So I said like a month after like me and my husband get married, then I want to go on like an RV trip to like Oregon or something. With who? You, mom, and then if your parents, my mom, your mom and dad's parents are still alive, I take them too. <laughs> so, so hopefully grandma and grandpa Griffiths don't kick the bucket before then. <laughs> Can you see why I was just dying? I haven't heard my kids talk like this before. And so it was really fun to like just hear their thoughts on slapping father-in-law. You want your wife to what? Go on a mission. Oh, with you or before you get married? <laughs> I'm with We can't go with her. Not until you're like old. Huh? Old so I can open my zig zig. And <laughs> fast. Okay. But what? But I want her to go on a mission by herself. But I'm gonna go first. Okay. Hey. And guys, come here. I want to get a thumbnail. Okay. One, two, three. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined everything. And we can call it. About divorce. That's a good <laughs> Okay, well, you guys just got like a sneak peek into like the process of a thumbnail. And how we have to dramatize everything or nothing will get a view. So that's neat. Okay, kids are getting obnoxious. Bye, guys.